I'm here with my friend David, with whom we've talked for the past few months about doing a collaboration together, and today is that day. Behind this door is the secret to this week's off-trail adventure. I am so excited. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. We're going on a road trip. Okay, we should probably stop fooling around right now. We're taking you to the Ardennes, which is a beautiful part of Belgium. And I hope you enjoy this adventure with us. We've just arrived. Uh, where are we exactly? Baston. Baston, the village de Baston. I couldn't film on the highway, obviously. We're driving about 120 kilometers an hour. I have to say that my butt is hurting <laughs> really, really much. <laughs> now it's time to hit the road again. Okay, David, so where are we right now? We are at the Memorial de Madison. It's a tribute memorial to the Battle of the Bulge from the Second World War. And I know I said off trail diary wouldn't be tourism videos, but this is pretty impressive and worth seeing. <laughs> I realize I didn't even tell you what it is we're doing here with David. He is a biker and he has a website called bestbikingroads.com and we kind of thought it would be a good idea to create some videos about motorcycle travel. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm David from bestbikingroads.com. So I thought what I'd do today is take you through some uh, traveling tips. I don't really know what to say right now, just looking at this view. And I'm thinking how amazing it is to be doing this today. We came across this amazing field. I mean, look at this behind me. It's like, this is like majestically out of a movie like there's no one it's like grass everywhere the sun is perfect and this is like the perfect setup for a little off-trail diary interview with David motorcycling for me is like a sense of adventure a sense of excitement a sense of possibility um, a way to escape from the stresses of the day a way to enjoy a kind of unbounded freedom. Um, in 2004 I was, in, uh, I was on a trip in Spain with, with a couple of friends of mine, uh, Mark and Michelle. I thought wouldn't it be nice if there was some way to find out where all the coolest places were. Back then if you wanted to find a cool place to ride your bike you had to ask people but there was no real way of centralized way of, of finding a cool place to ride and so I thought I should I should create that, and make it my project. 14 years later, you know, I've got 36,000 people signed up to it and an app, and it's good, man. But I'm still out there enjoying the simple fun of it. For me, anyway, it was about making a choice. Um, I I personally found it difficult to balance between making a lot of money and doing what you love to do. So I've always favoured doing what you love to do. It's like you're following your own way and you're not beholden to a sense of responsibility, um, which in the end, I think, anyway, for me is better. You know, I'm not rich from it, but I can get by. I've got a bike, I've got a jacket, I've got friends, a sense of adventure, and uh, keep going. Mm -hmm. 